Janae Wells. I'm from Sacramento, California. Um, I would say I'm a combo guard, mostly combo a point guard. guard. I'm currently at Delta College, transferring to Northwest Nazarene in Idaho. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yes. How you feel saying that? Oh, man. I've been saying that a lot lately, and that's yeah. it's different. You know, it's kind of like, yeah. I don't know. I, at times, I feel big time, but, you know. Janae's basketball inspiration came from her cousin who played professionally and was drafted to the Lakers, playing with the late great Kobe Bryant along with other NBA teams like the Memphis Grizzlies. <laughs> There was kind of a want to stay with track, but I saw more challenge in basketball. And my game certainly took a turn my senior year, even more so after I found my defensive identity. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of when I started getting more attention from you know other coaches and Delta reached out to me. I had my first phone call with Coach Johnson. Thought she was a black woman, honestly, oh, through the phone. Bro. Yes, I was like, okay, period. But no surprise, um, when I met her in person, she was still the same you know, um, just a tenacious person. After the Delta uh, recruitment process, I guess, my confidence just kind of shot up even more. Just because I was talking to them, you know, not yeah, even, yeah. I hadn't committed or anything. Yeah. Um, just because I was on the table, I started playing with more confidence and um, I was starting to hear more things being said about me. Like, oh, like I've heard this about you. You had a good game, like, you know, just things like that. So she really paid attention to my effort with on the ball defense yeah. and her recognizing that and acknowledging it just gave me the confidence I needed to be like, you know what, I'm going to Delta. Delta has taught me a lot about myself. I think I will always say Delta is the best decision I could have made, um, period, as far as a school after high school. Um, there was a lot of growing that needed to be done after high school. Majority of what I needed to learn came my sophomore year. Um, being okay with using my voice and being vocal and leading people and not being so worried about what people think about me, you know? Um, yeah, and just having the confidence in myself to lead. We had talks about what I need to do to be recruited to a school that I would want to go to, so like a D2. Um, yeah, she just, she told me what I needed to do and I feel like I tried to, try my best to get those things done. I feel like Delta did a good job of, um, Balancing the student and the athlete, you know, not just making it about basketball, not just making it about school, but balancing the two. Yeah. I would say Delta set me up academically um, and made sure I was on track throughout the whole time I was here. I can't, I can't even explain, like, um, I guess the phenomena behind a Christian school offering me a full ride and it being the only Christian, the only school to offer me a full ride. It really spoke to me. Like, I really felt like that was the only right decision for me to make, so it really wasn't hard when it came down to time to yeah. committing. I'm not a freshman coming into a four-year, I'm a junior coming into a four-year, so the expectation is different. You know, I think I put a little more pressure on myself, but really just to be my authentic self. I don't want to be, of course I want to be changed for the better, but I don't want to like dumb down my personality at all mm -hmm. for these new people, just be my authentic self. And I want to take as much of what I've learned from Coach Wayne and from my parents and from you all, from my team, um, to this next team and apply it to any, any adversity I have to overcome over there, just to be my authentic self regardless. Yeah. And um, obviously to bring that defensive mindset over there and yeah, sure. show Idaho a, a different type of swag, you know, when it comes to uh, defense and just talking my talking my stuff.